Gentlemen, a scene from The Importance of Being Earnest, Paradox Theater. I am in love with Gwendolyn, and I've come up to town expressly with the desire to propose to her. My dear fellow, Gwendolyn is my first cousin, and before I allow you to marry her, you have to clear this whole question of Cecily. Cecily? What on earth do you mean? I don't know what you mean, Algy, by Cecily. I don't know anyone of the name of Cecily. Maybe you just say that this is not your cigarette case, then. What? Do you mean to say you've had my cigarette case all this time? I wish to goodness you would let me know. I've been writing the frantic letters to Scotland Yard about it. I was very nearly offering a large reward. I wish you would offer one. I have to be more than usually hard up. There's no good offering a large reward now that the thing is found. You know it's mine, and you've seen me with it a hundred times. Well, it's not your cigarette case, and I see the inscription on the inside. This cigarette case belongs to somebody yeah. by the name of Cecily. Oh, you've no right for to, to read whatsoever in my private cigarette case. It's a very ungentlemanly thing to read a private cigarette case. Well, it's so absurd to have a hard, fast rule about what one should read and what one shouldn't. Well, half of my approach depends on what one shouldn't read. I'm quite well aware of the fact. I don't propose to discuss modern culture. I simply want my cigarette case back. Yes, but this isn't your cigarette case. This cigarette case belongs to someone by the name of Cecily, and it was a gift from this young guy. So I spoke to the door. Well, if you must know, Cecily happens to be my aunt. Your aunt? Yes. Charming old lady she is too. Lives at Tunbridge Wells. Oh, for heaven's sake, just give me back my cigarette case. Yes. yes. But if she was your aunt and lives at Tunbridge Wells, why does she call herself Little? From Little Cecily, with her fondest love. My dear fellow, what on earth is there in that? Some aunts are tall, some are not tall. And that is a matter that surely an aunt may be allowed to decide for herself. You seem to think that every aunt should be exactly like your aunt. That is absurd. For heaven's sake, just give it back to me, Auntie. There is no objection to an aunt being a small aunt, but why your own aunt calls you her uncle? From my little Cecily with her fondest love to her dear Uncle Jack. And besides, your name isn't Jack at all. It's Ernest. It isn't Ernest. It's Jack. <laughs> You've always told me it was Ernest. I've introduced you as Ernest. But you answer to the name of Ernest. But you even look as if your name were Ernest. <laughs> You are the most earnest looking person I've ever seen in all my life. Well, perfectly absurd you say your name isn't Ernest. Well, it's on your cards. Here is one of them. Be a good chat and read that aloud with the girl. Mr. Ernest Worthing. B4, the Albany. Yes, and I shall keep this as proof. If you ever try to deny your name is Ernest, to me, or to Gwendolyn, or to anyone else. Well. My name is Ernest in the town and Jack in the country. And the cigarette case was given to me in the country. <laughs> yes, but that doesn't account for the fact that your small aunt calls you the dear Uncle Jack. Now, come on, boy. Have a thing out at once. My dear fellow, you talk exactly as if you're a dentist. And it's a very vulgar thing to talk as if one were a dentist and one certainly is not a dentist. It produces a false impression. My dear fellow, that is what dentists always do. As I say, I've always thought you to be a, a bunderous, and now I'm quite sure. Bunderous? What on earth do you mean by bunderous? I will reveal to you the meaning of that incomparable expression as soon as you are kind enough to reveal why you are Ernest in town and Jack in the country. Uh, well? <laughs> produce my cigarette case first. Here it is. Now produce your explanation. And pray, make them trouble. <laughs> oh, good heavens. <laughs> Ashley. Ashley, would you please come up here? Okay. Um, the 
importance of being earnest is an older comedy. It's very much based on wit and um, that style of humor. Uh, our two leads are Jeremiah and Ian, who you just saw. I think we have our two female leads as well. Charity, Wave, and Glory. Yep, those are two female leads. So. And most of our cast is actually somewhere around here. Uh, we perform one week from tonight, we open. Or one week from last night, we open. Where? So uh, CSLR, that's at 1905 Hartnell Avenue. That's the um, same place we did Pirates of Play Dance last spring. And um, you can go to our website, paradox.net. That's D-O-C-K-S.net. What is the name of the church? Uh, CSLR, it's the Center for Spiritual Living in Reading. And it's halfway between Victor and Alta Mesa on Hartnell. Okay, cool. Thank you, Ash.